In this video, we are going to talk about a type of loop called the do-while loop. So when you have a while loop, there is always that possibility that your program will not even enter it. Let's take this example. We have a while loop that runs as long as i is less than 5. However, if you look at the declaration of i, it is initialized to a value of 6, which is greater than 5. So when the while loop's condition is checked, it returns false, causing the program to skip the loop. So when we test this out, the program will just print end of program. But what if you needed a loop that will run at least once, regardless of any condition that you supply? This is where a do while loop comes in. A do while loop is always guaranteed to execute at least once. So let me just delete this while loop first, and I will replace it with a do while loop. To create a do while loop, we start with the do keyword followed by curly braces. Inside the curly braces, we place the body of the loop. So let's say we want to print out hello system dot out dot print line hello and then in the next line let's increment the value of i and finally we end the do while loop with a while statement after the closing curly brace we type the while keyword followed by the desired terminating condition inside parentheses. So let's say i is less than 5, for example. Also, take note that the do while loop ends with a semicolon. A while loop does not. The main difference between a do while and a while is that in a while loop, you check the condition first to see if you enter the loop or not. So if the condition returns a false, then you don't even get to enter the loop at all. But in a do while loop, you execute first, and then you check the condition. So no matter what the condition returns, you would have already executed the loop once. So in this example, we have i, which starts at 6, and then we do this, print hello and increment i. And only after we do that do we then check the condition. Here, i is less than 5 returns false. So we exit the loop, but not without executing it once. And then we move on to our final line, and the program ends. So let's test this out. And as you can see, hello does get printed out once, showing that we did in fact execute the body of the loop. Now, of course, a do-while loop can also run more than once. Say we change i to 0. So what happens here is we do this. So hello gets printed out, and i gets incremented by 1. So now i is 1. And then we check the condition. Because 1 is less than 5, this returns true. So we go back up the loop, and then we execute it once more. And then we just keep checking the condition, and we keep looping back up until eventually i becomes 5. At that point, the condition returns false, and then we exit the loop. So if we test this out, our expected output from the do-while loop will be five hellos. So let's run this, and we do in fact get five hellos getting printed out here. So to end this video, let's recap the syntax of a do-while loop. We begin with the do keyword, followed by curly braces, which will contain the statements that will make up the body of the loop. And then at the end of the loop, we have the while keyword and the desired condition placed inside parentheses. And finally, we end with a semicolon. And that is how you create a do-while loop.